Hi everybody, this is Aaron Alsop with CinemaSpice.net and today I'd like to show you how to use the new mask tracker in the updated Adobe Premiere CC so that you can blur out things without having to use After Effects. The great thing about Adobe Premiere is that they've made mask tracking extremely easy to use and there's a lot of reasons when normally you would bring the clip over to After Effects, but you can do it right in Premiere and save a lot of time. That's the thing I actually like about Adobe's uh, new updates is I feel like they're focusing on making uh, the time you spend editing shorter so you can spend more time on what really matters. One of the times that I think mask tracking would be extremely useful is when you want to blur out a logo for whatever reason. So let's say that we want to blur this logo out. The first thing that I do is I just add a blur so you go to your video effects, blur and sharpen. I like using fast blur, we'll throw that on there. And if you come up here to the effects control, you'll see that there's these two new icons underneath that. And if you click this one, it'll create an ellipse mask. And if you cl click this one, it'll create a four point polygon mask. Now, because this is a square, we're gonna click that. And we have this, uh, this nice little mask. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add a blur to that so we can see what happens. There we go. So now we got a blur on this mask. Now it gets even better because it'll actually track it and keep it in place. So let's say I just want to blur out this whole cardboard, this whole cardboard box All right here. I'll take these points and I'll adjust it to where I want it to. We'll say that looks good. Now I'm just going to turn the blur up just a little bit more just so we can see what happens. Now I'll click off it so you can see that. Now I'm just going to feather this a little bit more so that it you know fades in and if we can do it right we can almost make it so that it blends into the image. Yeah, it doesn't blend entirely image but you know it's not as profound. And now comes the best part, tracking it. Because as you can see, as this goes on, the camera's following him, and that mask is staying exactly where I left it. So up here is the tracking controls. They're just like the tracking controls that you might be familiar with in After Effects. Go back one frame, track backwards, track forwards, track forward one frame. And they have three tracking methods. You can either track just the position, the position and rotation, position, scale, and rotation. Now, because the camera is moving forward, I'm going to need to track that scale as well so that it grows larger as it gets closer to the camera. If you're just doing an interview with somebody, let's say, and they've got like a logo on their shirt you need to blur out and they're sitting down, you could probably just use the position. And if they're moving around, you know, twisting in their chair maybe, you'd want to use the position and rotation. But for now, position, scale, and rotation. And it's really easy, you just click play. And we're just gonna stop there because the cardboard box is no longer in the frame. And I'll go back here and we'll see how well that track did. Okay, so as you can see, it tracked very well. And there are some parts here where as he was walking by, we could see that his arm covered up part of that box, part of that bike frame did as well. And so, you know, if we wanted to, we could come in here and we could go individually and adjust that. Just move that over a bit. And you'll notice that when you go forward to frame, it's going to go back to where that originally was. So that's not going to affect anything in front of it. And sometimes, you know, when you're doing this, you're just going to have to do it by hand. And that'll, that'll make it a lot easier. The thing I really like about this tracking is, you know, it's not looking for that entire box that we originally created. You know, it's creating these edges. And let me go forward a few more frames. You can see that, you know, this point is completely off the screen. And as that cardboard box moves off the screen, that track follows it as well. 
So anyways, that is the Mask Tracker, the new update in Adobe Premiere CC 2014. It's been really easy to use. It tracks pretty fast. You know, each computer is going to be different, but it's really easy to use, and it really opens up a, a lot of different options that you can do. Uh, you know, a few other things to be noted with this is you have the mask feather, uh, the expansion. You can invert it. So if you only wanted to see that box, if you wanted it to be a straight line, you take the feather down. So anyways, that is the mask tracker. If you have any questions about how to use it, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see if I know the answer. If not, maybe somebody else watching this video will and can help you out. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more updates on Premiere as well as any other editing software that you guys may be using. Also, make sure to check out cinemaspice.net. We have a large selection of After Effects presets, video overlays, lens flares, backgrounds, presets, graphics, anything to spice your film up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.